What's up, G-Fusion fans? This is Philip back with another toy review, and this time, uh, actually, this is qu quite a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back toy review. So, we are moving on to the next toy that I recently bought, which is the Yudo Don Momotaro, or Goldon Momotaro, to be precise. So, yeah, look at this bad boy right here. So, uh, this is actually my first, uh, you know, Don Brothers related toy that I bought ever since uh, Don Brothers came out. So, I, I have really been uh, holding off on buying any uh, Don Brothers uh, merch so far. I was quite close to getting a Don Momotaro, uh, Don Momotaro. Uh, Robotaro mode, but I held off on that as well, so uh, I instead uh, chose this one. So as you can see here, so uh, this is Goldon Momotaro, and it does come with two accessories. So it does come with the Don Blaster with the Omikoshi Phoenix. So that's just actually one part, and you have the Zangla Sword as well. So. I understand that, uh, well, I was more interested in getting the Yudo than the Change Heroes uh, Dawn Brothers, but since Bandai had decided that it would also go the Sodo route, which means you need two boxes now in order to complete just one figure, so might as well uh, wait for something that is quite, uh, you know, at least kind of worth it so because of all the parts uh, especially with the cape it's quite big so uh, yeah uh, I decided you know uh, at l this would be uh, understandable at least <laughs> so anyways uh, let's move on with the articulation so the head uh, no problem there it does move up and down a bit it can go around 360 uh, the collar is not going to get in the way, so it's not that high enough. So the arms, actually, so Dawn Brothers is the first uh, show or uh, that kind of applies this kind of arm joint with their Yudo. So this, uh, so Dawn Brothers ha has the first Yudo that has the elongated pegs. Uh, on the arms and the removable arms anyway, so you get again Just so just like the soda you can uh, shift your arms uh, or the shoulders uh, forward and back so You do have like a, a joint on the elbow or above the elbow that can allow the arm to rotate uh, of course uh, you have the elbow joints the hands are also removable and can turn around 360 like this. So the waist can also turn around like so, right? So everything that you would expect basically. So the legs kind of actually uh, sp uh, go 180 degree split. And there is actually uh, inside, so an inner joint that allows the thigh roll. And you have the knees. And you have the feet, so kind of like again with the Sodo nowadays, uh, there is a, the ball joint and quite an elevated uh, outside joint, but again, it allows for more articulation like this. So, uh, one thing that you would also notice is the cape, so it does have a fl uh, joint right here. But it can also swivel around like so. It, you can uh, turn it around 360, so it, uh, you can pose it very dynamically, which is very nice. So for the accessories, again, uh, let's look at the Omikoshi Phoenix. So uh, it's actually covered in stickers, right? So I actually had quite a hard time putting the stickers on the Omikoshi Phoenix part because it doesn't cover everything. Like, it's hard to do that. Now, the Z Zangla sword, 
uh, actually has two sets of stickers that you can use, which is the normal uh, Zangla sword. So the edge is just like the original yellow one. But this is more of the finisher uh, mode or the finisher uh, Zangla sword. And what's nice about it is you do have stickers on both sides. So it doesn't, you know, so it looks a bit more dynamic, which I like. So that's the Zangla sword, right? So now for the actual review of this thing. So what can I say? Uh, it was surprisingly a sticker hell with all of the stickers that you need to uh, put on this, especially with the Omikoshi Phoenix. That one was a nightmare to do. Uh, like, I'm just like, eh, as long as I got it on the... Uh, as long as I got it on the thing, I uh, stopped caring so much. And the uh, sticker on the belt, as you, if you notice, it's kind of peeled off, and I actually haven't done anything to for this to happen. Like, the quality of the stickers, not that great. It peeled off easily, and I, I'm actually quite worried about uh, these stickers, stickers on the thighs which kind of make up like the skirt or uh some like you know something like that so especially when you roll them inside because they do kind of hit uh you know like they do kind of scrape inside so uh, i'm not really a fan of that i mean you could have just painted them on bandai so but for the other stickers not not much of a problem uh, like on the neck, however, like you do have a lot of stickers there that uh, uh, I don't think were kind of necessary. You know, like you could have done without them, but uh, Bandai being Bandai, although uh, this uh, sticker on the cape, I did have to be careful, but this one kind of looks okay to me. So I just had to follow where. Uh, some of the lines go. Doesn't cover everything, but you know, at least you have this uh, Don Momotaro symbol on the back, so mm, meh. But uh, yeah, surprisingly, there are, were a lot of stickers to put on this, so sticker hell, surprisingly. But looking at the overall finished product, I mean, uh, like the Omikoshi Phoenix, uh, Omikoshi Phoenix is quite an eyesore to say so myself because of how hard it was to, you know, make sure everything stuck uh, properly. So uh, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing uh, effect. Like, try it and you will understand. Like, <laughs> if you try doing this yourself, like, you will understand how hard it is to actually cover the entirety of the Omikoshi Phoenix because it has three stickers so on the sides and actually on the top so and and you still have to put on uh, the stickers for the for the rest of you know the Dawn Blaster as well well the Dawn Blaster was okay again only the Omikoshi Phoenix was surprisingly a headache to do but Again, now that I see it overall, uh, not bad. Uh, I also like, uh, by the way, so for the Zang Zangla sword. So uh, again, I, I understand that uh, they already did this before with the original Don Momotaro uh, Yudo figure. So it does come with a pommel here. So uh, quite nice. Uh, that was quite thoughtful of Bandai at least. So, you know, overall... I Again, uh, if you manage to do the stickers, uh, it's fine. It is okay. And uh, quite frankly, it's actually kind of good in a way. Uh, so yeah, I'm giving this one a, uh, I would say, 4 out of 5. So, because it is uh, generally a nice looking figure. I I'm not going to lie, I do like... The aesthetic of uh, Golden Momotaro. Again, uh, you know, 
the Omikoshi Phoenix could have been easier. Uh, a lot of the stickers around the neck were unnecessary. So, yeah, just my two cents about it. But again, overall, I still kind of like it. So, yeah, that's it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, gallery down in the description below so you can see uh, everything else that I did with uh, this figure. Not much, but again, uh, if you want to see pictures, link is down in the description. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. And as always, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, uh, share this video, and hit that notification bell so you get the latest from JD Fusion. This has been Philip, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.